life struggles, happy moments, bad times, and unforgettable memories. Join us as we talk about our lives and share a laugh or two with us as we bring you along on our crazy journey called life. Welcome, Welcome to Two Wives, One, one world. world. Hey listeners, welcome back for another episode. Hey guys, welcome back to Two Wives, One World. Whether you're listening to us or watching us on our YouTube channel, welcome back to another brand new week where we are here to talk to you guys for a little bit and kind of entertain you for a little bit. Nikki, how's it going? It's going. Um, I had a snow day today from work, so I didn't really do anything. Um, Here in Pennsylvania, we had an ice storm, kind of. Like, we had lots of ice this morning, and then, like, near noon, it just all disappeared and turned into slush. So, I have, actually, I have a video of me walking to my car earlier, because, like, my whole sidewalk and um, driveway was ice, like a sheet of ice. Oh! And my car was covered in ice. Oh, no! So, it's kind of funny, but... Yeah, other than that, I mean, I'm just hanging out. I spent way too much money at TJ Maxx today because <laughs> I like things and that's Why not? TJ Maxx has it all. Treat yourself, do it. <laughs> For real. What about you? What's going on with you? Same old, same old. It was 50 degrees here today, partly cloudy. Um, skies were blue, uh, but I'm not going to lie. It only snowed like one time this year so far where it's actually stayed. Well, no, it's it snowed twice. It snowed on Christmas for the first time in like five years or oh, something wow. crazy. And then a couple of weeks later, it snowed it a little bit on the ground. It covered the ground, but after a couple hours, it's it basically melted away. So same old, same old, working, living the life, um, trying to stay positive and all of that fun stuff. Yeah, I actually bought a sign today. Let me, I don't remember what it says. It's something really cute, though, and I'm going to hang it above my makeup station when I get ready in the morning. It says, when you stop and look around, this life is pretty amazing. Oh, I love that. So I'm going to hang this above where I get ready in the morning, try to give myself a little bit of a pep talk before going to work or wherever. I really, really love that. I think that's really cute. Thank you. You're welcome. You always have, like, the best taste. Guys, if you ever need, like, interior design, hairstyles, clothes, like, Nikki's your girl. She has oh, I don't know about that, but <laughs> thanks. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Um, also, guys, I wanted to share with you. So, I uh, bought a bunch of lipsticks from ColourPop. A, like a month or two ago because I impulse bought them and now after I bought them I was like nobody's gonna see them because we wear masks all the time yeah so I'm gonna wear them one a different shade every week on the podcast and so here's all of them some of them are elf some of them are color pop um last week if you watched our last week episode I wore this one I think it's called I think it's called Bichette, but it looks like Bichette. <laughs> but it's like this really pretty like red color. Yeah, I love like it. I have I had that one on last week. This week I have on this pink shade. It's Little Things. Oh, that's cute. So that is my two that I have done so far. Love um. ColourPop, if you're watching this, please sponsor <laughs> us because I spend way too much money on that website. Worth it though. It is worth it. Totally worth it. Um, I think that's an awesome idea. I'm glad that we can finally show lip color because I don't even wear it anymore because we wear masks all day. Right. You know, so it's kind of like uh, I want to wear it, but at the same time, it's just gonna rub off on my mask or it's just gonna not be seen so hmm. but I guess let's go ahead and start off with what's in your cup I'll go ahead and start us off this week I have um this aerial glass I'm not sure if I ever brought it on here or not it says so the girl that has everything it says on the back and then so pretty inside here I have some watered down sparkling water that's watermelon flavored Ooh. I drank an entire thing of it and had to go fill up again 
uh, because I'm so freaking thirsty. I'm so hungry and thirsty tonight, guys. Like, I just can't. I ate a piece of cheese. I ate a piece of turkey. I ate some organic graham crackers. Like, I just can't get full tonight. But well, <sighs> you're like, you're doing no sugars or like wheat, right? No flour and no flour. sugar other than like natural sugars and fruits and stuff. But <sighs> I want bread. <laughs> I don't blame so you. I'm trying my hardest. And um, if there's anybody out there that needs pep talk or anything, hit me up. I'll be your girl. I'll pep talk you. I'll give you some pointers, even though I'm not really any good at nutrition other than what my doctor tells me to do. So, but yeah, that's where we're at. <laughs> I mean, go you. You've done it for a week now, right? I have, yeah. It'll only get easier from here. Thank you. you. All right. What are you drinking? I have my big water bottle. I like that. Thank you. It's like an ombre. It's very pretty. Um, and inside, I just have lots and lots of water. So is that half a gallon or a gallon? Uh, it's 64 ounces. I don't really no Dang. okay here let me see <laughs> let me ask siri oh yes what is the equivalent of 64 fluid ounces oh fluid ounces half a gallon so i'm drinking half a gallon of water half a gallon of water in that how many of those do you go through a day one if i'm lucky oh i know sometimes i drink so much water and then i'm like constantly getting up and running to the bathroom and i'm like okay my like, hope is to drink two a day. So, like, drink a gallon of water a day. Um, I have not reached that goal yet. It's so much water. Like, when you hold up a gallon of milk, that's mm. a lot. Yeah. So, I mean, that would be crazy to get up to that. I would love to as well, but unfortunately, I don't drink as much water as I should. We are. I am currently working on it, but it is not easy. We got this. We'll get there. We'll get there. Um, so I guess we should tell them what we're doing today. Yeah, I'm excited. Nikki, do you want to kind of explain to them a little bit what, what we're up to today? Yeah, so, um, this is actually Cass's idea. She had this idea earlier yesterday. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, um, we're going to be talking about, um, different decades so like the 60s 70s 80s and 90s and we're going to be telling you about our favorite music um i have some of my favorite movies Cass has events that happened yep. and then we're going to be talking about the fashion too that went on during those decades so i am super excited to share with you guys some of the stuff that i picked and i'm sure i'm super excited to hear what you picked Cass. i'm excited to see what you picked too because this is always fun i always like kind of talking about things that we didn't really get to experience fully. Yeah. I mean, a little bit of the 90s, but like 60s, 70s, and 80s, I can't wait. Yeah. Yeah, I I just like, I'm excited to talk about the fashion because I love some of the outfits that they had back then. Oh my gosh, I know. I look at it and I'm like, oh, everybody always looks so good. And I'll say this real quick, and this is no offense to any guys nowadays. You, you're all looking sharp. But can we just talk about real quick before we start? Just how put together men used to look back in the day. Like, I know. you know, like their hair was cut perfectly. They had suits on. They were just looking so fresh. And like I said, guys, nowadays, you're gorgeous. Nothing's wrong with you. But like back in the day, man, everything was just so, I don't know. You know what I mean? They had a certain mm -hmm. look to them. Yeah, I feel like once we got out of the, I don't know, the maybe 50s guys started to just like roll with their like natural look like I feel like in the 60s it's like oh the big afros and mm -hmm. like yes they would have to do stuff to their hair to make it look like that but like they're not slicking it back with gel and all that stuff um and then 70s 80s 90s I feel like none of that really changed other than like I think in the was it the 80s that they would... Oh, no, it was the 70s. They would, like, grease their hair back and wear, like, leather and... <laughs> Just a bad boy complex. Yeah. Like, oh, oh my gosh, I almost said Danny DeVito. Like, John Travolta <laughs> in Grease. 
wait in one of our uh one of our previous episodes didn't we have something to do with Danny DeVito in one of the Mad Lib episodes I think so oh with the posture of Danny DeVito or something like that I don't remember anyways guys um before we get too off track let's go ahead why don't we start with the very first decade that we chose for this and that's the 60s and for anybody that's listening to this that maybe lived through any of these decades or you know has really studied up on these decades let us know down below what your favorite things in each of the decades are and let us know if yours matches up with ours okay so i'm gonna go ahead and start um so 60s music i put the temptations and aretha franklin Ooh, I'm really, really like the temptations are just like a really like just a good, like lighthearted. I don't even know how to explain Didn't it. Didn't they sing My Girl? Yes. I guess you say what can okay. make me feel this way. <laughs> just like great romantic music. Like, I feel like the lyrics back then were just so. Huh, let me think of a word. Okay, so for instance, if you guys listen to songs from 2021 about, you know, B-words and drugs, B-words and they're drugs. probably not going to be the same as back in the day. Like, I just feel like men sang about women so, like, they just put them up on this big pedestal and were gentlemen back mm-hmm. in the day. Like, in the 60s, I definitely feel like that um, was the big thing. So what did you put for... The 60s for song. So I put Brown Eyed Girl by Van... I picked, like, specific mm-hmm. songs. So I picked Brown Eyed Girl by Van Morrison, which I love that song. Um, I'm pretty sure my dad used to sing that all the time. I love that song. Um, And then I just realized, like, the Beatles mm. were in the 60s. Yes. And I love the Beatles, like... um. Oh my gosh, what is that song? Here Comes the Sun. Here oh Comes God. the Sun is my favorite song from like back in the day, and I didn't even think about it whenever I was writing my list. But yeah, Here Comes the Sun by the Beatles was put out in 1969. So it's kind of between the 60s and the 70s. And I have another song like that too yeah. later on. Um, oh yeah, Ryan loves the Beatles. I was never like a huge fan of them. I thought they had mm-hmm. good music. Um, but I was never one that was like, oh, Beatles, you know, but I still think they're awesome. Like I still think they're like iconic. They're super iconic. Super. Um, do you have any other music? Nope. I just picked Brown Eyed Girl and then the Beatles. So here comes the sun, Yellow Submarine, Hey Jude. Oh, what's that one? It's like, oh my goodness, it's going to. Eleanor Rigby, that's the song I was thinking yeah, of. that's a good one. All of their songs are just... So good. They're real good. Um, okay, so I'll go ahead. Um, for 60s fashion, I put, like, the house white dresses, um, long gloves that go up to your elbows, and then bell-bottom pants were very popular in the 60s. So when you say, like, housewife dresses, are you talking, like, I Love Lucy housewife dresses? Mm-hmm, Yep. With the big, like, poofy skirts. and Yes. <laughs> that's what I think of. I've always wished that I kind of lived back in the day, just, like, when those dresses were really popular. And just like I said, everybody was always very put together. Like, yeah. I, I just wish I could tra- time travel and just go back to this fashion. Um, but, yeah, and bell-bottom pants. Funny story, guys. Um, like, the bell-bottom flared-out jeans are coming back into fashion now mm-hmm. so it's crazy to see the bell bottom pants coming back um what about you for fashion what what really catches your eyes um I picked the big round sunglasses or just glasses in general yeah. like the big circle ones yes um and flower dresses because and the more I think about it like that's kind of like the 70s too but I don't know like I I think of like the pretty like huge big flower like colorful flower dresses that they used to wear oh, that's so pretty everything was so colorful too mm-hmm. like I feel like everything was so colorful up until like I don't know like mm-hmm. I feel like the two like in the 90s maybe you think maybe the 2000s because I feel like 2000s? 
still like in the 90s and we still wore like the rainbow shirts and yeah that is true and like I guess lime green was real popular in the 2000s but 60s was like huge for those like pop of color Mm -hmm. all that stuff um I really like all that fashion um big event I put John F. Kennedy beats Richard Nixon and becomes the president of the United States I did not know that happened in the 60s or 70s no 60s sorry Yep, 60s. Cra- I know, it's crazy. It's like, okay, I knew about John F. Kennedy, but I didn't realize it was that long ago. Yeah. Insane. It is, so that was, what, 60 years ago? Mm-hmm. That's insane. So, funny thing, Justin's fam- mom's side of his family is actually related to John F. Kennedy, like, way, way, like, distant, obviously. That's so cool. It is very cool. Oh my gosh that's cool I wonder whenever I did that ancestry thing I tried to see who I was related to thinking I was going to be related to like Abe Lincoln or something and it doesn't really say anybody so but that's okay that's all right I would love to be related to Abe Lincoln that's like I, my dream come true I know a wonderful man um did you put anything for a big event no I did not put big events but I do have a couple movies oh yeah 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 my bad nope you're good <laughs> Um, so some of the biggest movies, I, I picked two Disney movies because these were the ones I actually knew of in the 60s. Uh, Mary Poppins came out in the 60s. Ooh. And Sword in the Stone came out in the 60s. Yeah. Mary Poppins. That's a good one. So I kind of remember Mary Poppins, but it's like one of those movies that I like watched so long ago that I don't exactly remember all of the details. Mm-hmm. I know she's like a nanny that comes and like watches these two kids that were really bad, basically. And she like makes their life better and like helps their dad find I don't remember exactly. Yeah, it's been so long that I've actually like watched the movie, but there's great music in that movie. I know that. There but is. I'm the same way with Sword in the Stone. I don't know that I've ever watched it the whole way through. See, I love Sword in the Stone. Like, the whole Prince... Prince? <laughs> Prince Arthur and, like, Excalibur and all of that stuff is so interesting to me. So... I'm gonna have to watch it. I love that movie. It's a good one. All right, guys. That's a wrap for the 60s. What'd you think? Were you around at that time? Were you not? Let us know down below. We are always excited to hear back from you. And that's the podcast. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all we have for you today. And that's all we have for you tonight. Peace out. Okay. Yeah, guys, if you were around in the 60s, post a picture of you, like, in your favorite 60s outfit. Or if, like, yeah. you have, like, a decade day at school or something and you uh, dressed up as a 60s girl or boy, send us a picture. Let us know. Because I am very interested in what people would dress up as yes. for the 60s. Gosh, I love it. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get right into the 70s, which is, I really like the 70s a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, for music, I put Fleetwood Mac and the Bee Gees. You love Fleetwood Mac. I do. I really do. They're, uh, aren't they like your favorite band? Mm-hmm. They just have like such good, like their music is very. It's different. It is. And it's it's good. They have a couple of like not really depressing songs, but like chill songs. But they have some like really songs that just get you excited and hyped up. And uh, mm-hmm. I love them. And I love the Bee Gees, too, because they're just yeah. classic. They're yeah. Classic. I love them. Um, so what are some songs that the Bee Gees sing? I don't even remember. Um, How Deep Is Your Love? Um, What's the other? Uh, ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Stay in love. Stay in love. That's um, right. And I know there's another one too, and I'm going blank on it because um uh I'm not a very good woman or something uh very good woman is it that one get away yeah. from me no it's um I don't know love every woman or you're every woman to me <gasps> something like that I don't yeah. know mom if you're listening to this I know you know what song that is if you could just let us know down below. <laughs> <laughs> the disco that? music era yeah, is like what I, it is. I can't think what the heck it is. Um, but both solid bands and groups. I just I love the music back in the day. So Fleetwood Mac, they their one song just got like really big again, didn't it? It was like yeah. on TikTok. It, it went viral did. on TikTok. It did, and it was like 
on the top 100 charts for a while too because people were just listening to it like crazy again what um what did the guy have that he was like skating around with the ocean spray cranberry juice yes (laughs) yes to the that Fleetwood Mac song and I can't remember the name of it um Mm. no uh uh dreams by Fleetwood Mac okay I and knew you would know it you want to know something crazy Ocean Spray that guy that made the original video Ocean mm-hmm. Spray gave him like cases upon cases of that cranberry juice and they bought him a car like they bought him a brand new car and all this because apparently I mean it blew up so big that yeah the song went viral again Ocean Spray's sales sales probably went I just had an accent I didn't like that <laughs> sales went skyrocketing and uh, Mick Fleetwood which is the drummer for the band um has a tiktok account and he made a video of him doing the same thing that the guy with the original video was doing it's hilarious everybody go check that out um if you have tiktok check it out nick fleetwood on tiktok he does it it's hilarious i love it awesome (laughs) um but what about you for music what did you pick so for the 70s the song i picked was american pie by don mclean 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 so american pie is a very very long song i want to say it's like six or eight minutes long i have it on my spotify oh my gosh but there was a point in time where i knew every single word to that song because really? i would just listen to it over and over and over and over again so was um, it a song that you really liked or was there like a meaning behind it like did your dad listen to it or my dad did listen to it and he um actually so I think I talked about this before on the podcast, but my dad was in a band at one point in time, and this was a song that he would sing in the band. So, oh. like, I think it just, like, carried with me. Aww. And the song is 8 minutes and 36 seconds long. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I never knew it was that long. It is very long. Um, And I, I think I just love it so much because it goes from, like, being upbeat and fun and then it just gets like sad and depressing, but then goes back to upbeat and then gets sad again at the end. Oh my gosh, I never knew it was that long. Mm-hmm. I'm like blown away by that. I think I just enjoy things that take me on an emotional roller coaster. <laughs> oh, me too. Like driver's license, <laughs> we talked about that before. Yes. Like, that makes me feel some type of way. Me too. <sighs> me too, girl. Uh, that's another great thing about music, since we're talking about music. It can like just take you and like throw you in your emotions like yes it's crazy like there's one song you know for everybody that kind of just takes them back to a time or a place and just ooh. and then the other song I had which is another song between the 70s and 80s like it was released in 1979 so it's technically a 70s song is Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen that is a classic iconic song which is another long song and i don't remember how long that one is but i will check for you guys look it up um but yeah so my friend rachel and i actually made a parody (laughs) to this song for a teaching lesson that we did or i guess it was one of our finals for one of our teaching classes and it is amazing in fact (laughs) i think i have it up on (laughs) youtube in case anybody wants to go listen to it but i don't remember what it was called hilarious so. I, I listened to it it's pretty impressive thank you thank it's, you it's funny if anybody wants to hear it let me know and i'll link it down below in the comments <laughs> but bohemian rhapsody is five minutes and 55 seconds long see that's pretty long too that's a pretty long song yeah wow. i mean it's nowhere near eight minutes but no, I don't know. I wonder what it must be like to perform a song so many times that is that long. I feel like you would have to be exhausted at that point. Oh my gosh. And you'd probably like get sick and tired of it too. Like, all mm-hmm. right, we need to have a bridge this long. Like, do we have to have a musical, you know, musical break for this long? But that's awesome. Those are some like top tier songs for the 70s. I love it. Guys, uh, let us know your favorite song down below from the 70s. Um, okay, let's go ahead. Uh, so 70s fashion. Nikki, what did you put for 70s fashion? So I put high-waisted bell bottoms. Nice. And corduroy. Because, like, Ooh. I feel like corduroy, like, the material was really be- big yes. in the 70s. Yes. 
I actually have a corduroy uh, skirt that I haven't worn in a while, but it's, I feel like corduroy is like also coming back in style. It is. I actually was looking at getting like a corduroy skirt. Like you said, you had, I want to get one of those. And like, I found this really big baggy, like shirt. That's a corduroy shirt that I was looking at getting too. See, my mom, I can remember my mom growing up always had corduroy pants. And I never really, like, as a kid, I never really reached for corduroys just because, you know, it wasn't the thing back whenever we were kids. But, mm-hmm. like, now that I'm an adult, I'm like, dang, I like corduroy. I think it's, I think it looks good. I think it's, like, flattering. So, mm-hmm. mom, you were always on to something, liking corduroy, <laughs> even after it kind of went out of style somewhat. Um, I like that. I like that. I, I think put, my mom wore corduroy too, actually. Yeah. And I was just never into it. Like I was never like, oh yeah, corduroy. But now I am. Now I'm like, yes, more. Um, that's such I, a weird word too, corduroy. Who who invented corduroy and said, you know what? This is gonna be. This looks like it's corduroy. <laughs> I just want to know. Call me if you invented corduroy. I just want to talk. Um. I put tie dye and then headbands that came across your forehead. Yes. And Farrah Fawcett curls. Yes. I love curly hair from the 70s. I do. I too. love it, love it, love it. It has that certain, like. It's like that feathery texture. Yes. And it is so pretty. Like, I wish that I could wear my hair like that. My hair is so dang flat, but, oh, it's so Man, I just, I really genuinely feel like I grew up in the wrong decade. Not to sound like a normie or anything and say, I was born in the wrong decade. But, I don't know, <laughs> just like talking about all this stuff just makes me want to experience what it was like back then. I don't right. Know, it's weird. Um, and the big event that happened in the 70s is the Beatles broke up. <gasps> womp womp. I'm glad I wasn't around for that. I probably would have cried like I did oh. when the Jonas Brothers broke up. Oh, the Jonas Brothers. You know? What makes me mad about the Jonas Brothers breaking up? What's that? They're brothers. Like, what do you mean you broke <laughs> up? Like, <laughs> giving the band a break. Like, and then like, they didn't even include poor Frankie. Like, still to this day, Frankie is a Jonas brother. What is wrong with you? I don't know why they didn't. I just want to talk. Joe Jonas, call me. I just want to talk. Why didn't you add Frankie into the band in, in circa 2020? And why do you, like, never include Kevin? Yeah, why is Kevin the outcast? Kevin like, should be the shining star of that band, honestly. I saw I saw a TikTok the other day that was, like, this guy was, like, oh, I'm going to be Nick Jonas, and he, like, sang Nick Jonas's part. I'm going to be Joe and sang Joe's part, and he's, like, now I'm going to be Kevin, and then he just sat there with a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, you have to be kidding. Oh gosh, I love Kevin. He always got kind of crapped on though. Like, yeah. It's just in the 2000s, guys, but I mean, Kevin Jonas, he always deserved better and he still deserves better. We stand a Kevin Jonas. We stand Kevin Jonas. We are now Kevin Jonas fans. Um, Nick Jonas, who? Um, Actually, you know what? I, ha- I hate to say this because I've always been like a Nick Jonas person. But, like, Nick is, like, off my radar now. Like, I definitely am more into, like, Joe and Kevin, for sure. Well, especially after watching that documentary. Yes. And then you find out that Nick was, like, I don't know. It just seemed to me like Nick was kind of, like, my way or the highway. I'm better Mm -hmm. than you guys. Like, I'm the reason you're famous. Basically. I don't like that. No. I don't like that. Anyways, um, (laughs) Nikki, what movie (laughs) did you pick for the 70s? Um, I picked a wrist. Oh, yeah, I only picked one. I picked Grease. Oh, and the Aristocats. Yes, I love Grease. Grease was like one of those movies I remember watching at my aunt's house, like as a little kid, like just like in awe because the music was so good, the story is so good, and it's just a wholesome movie. Like yes. you don't have to worry about. Like, swearing and nudity and, like, it's just one of those, fe- again, it's a feel-good movie that just, so good. And John Travolta looks like, he looks great in he's that movie. He's a stud. Yeah, he's a, what you talking, or, what? Uh, what are you talking about? Wait, wait. Is that how it is? What is it? What is the line? 
T- or tell me about it. Or no. Does it tell me about it, stud? Stud. And then she like throws the cigarette down, doesn't know what to do. <laughs> I like. <laughs> yes. And then I don't remember who is. They're like, sorry, step on it. And then she's like, oh. And then she like steps on it. <laughs> Can we talk about Sandy's transformation real quick? Like, ten out of ten. <laughs> 10 out of 10. I remember, and this is, like, being really young. I remember being like, I thought she was pretty before. (laughs) See, this is my thing. I prefer her as the, like, preppy, like, you Mm -hmm. know, soft girl. But, like, she can rock those heels and that leather. Yes, absolutely. I think the thing with that movie, and it still bothers me to this day a little bit, like, I don't like that she changed herself for him. But then I think more about it and I'm like, well, she didn't really change herself for him. Like, she was just showing him, like, hey, I see you're trying to make changes for me. So let here's me showing you that I can do the same for you. Uh, Well, yeah, because then it doesn't, uh, doesn't Danny Zuko at the end, doesn't he have, like, a Letterman jacket on or something? Yes. Real clean. And at the end, it's like, listen, we don't have to pretend to be what the other ones like we love each other for who we are yeah exactly man 10 out of 10 that movie it's so good now i want to watch it (laughs) so good let us know down below your favorite grease character yes who is your favorite grease character you know for a long time i said sandy but Mm -hmm. like now that i'm an adult i almost feel like rizzo is my favorite yeah I I i love danny zuko yeah I always have and then like um oh my gosh the girl with the pink hair what is her name Frenchie Frenchie (laughs) I loved how like ditzy she was right I love it I love now I want to watch that we might know that they like did a live grease with like Vanessa Hutchins as um oh my gosh Rizzo and who else was in it Vanessa Vanessa Hutchins was Rizzo, and then I don't remember who Danny and Sam. I remember that because I wanted to watch it live, but I never got the chance to. Oh, it's it was so good. Hmm. Man, now I want to watch musicals, guys. Also, can we talk about how the Aristocats was in the seventies? I can't believe that. I can't believe that either. Like, I love that Disney movie. It's so good. I like Marie. Marie. I just, Thomas O'Malley, though. I mean, I know he's a cat, but like. <laughs> <laughs> he just has that swagger. He that <laughs> He really does. It's like, if you were a human, <laughs> like, <laughs> if you were a human, you would be like, I don't know, what is the human version of him? Oh, man. Like an actor or someone that's like... I feel like, um, oh my gosh, the guy that plays Iron Man. T- uh, uh, t- Robert t- Downey uh, Jr. Yes, it's Robert Downey Jr. I feel like he would be a Robert Downey Jr. I love Robert Downey Jr. Oh, another man, 10 out of 10. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you had me cracking up. You said, I know he's a cat. But <laughs> guys, this is why we love doing the podcast because not only do we get to entertain you guys, but we make each other laugh and we get to spend some time together. <laughs> so true. Um, okay. Do you want to start us off with the 80s? Yes, I guys, this was so hard to pick music for the 80s because the 80s has like some of the best music, hands yeah. down. So good. Um but I went off of what songs I actually have on my Spotify from the 80s. And the first one that popped into my mind was I Want to Dance with Somebody by Whitney Houston. Oh, all the school dances. All the school dances. All the weddings I've ever been to. Like, I still play it in my car and, like, jam out to it. Such oh. a good song. I love that song. That's like a song that everybody knows. I don't care whether you listen to heavy metal, whether you listen to smooth jazz, like, you know, I want to dance with somebody. Mm -hmm. You've at least heard it once in your lifetime. And then you have like, Take On Me. Mm -hmm. Uh, That's my husband's favorite song from the 80s. Safety Dance. Yes. Sweet Child of Mine. 
All of those. My mom would be proud of me for that one, sweet child of mine. <laughs> she loves Guns N' Roses. Oh, it's so good. Um, Madonna and Michael Jackson is who I put down. Oh, my gosh. I didn't even think about them. Yes. All of Michael Jackson's songs are, like, fire. If I had to listen to one artist for the rest of my life, it would 100% be Michael Jackson. Like, really? Only one. Yeah, it, it would be him. Just because he has feel-good songs, he has depressing songs, he has confusion song you know he has basically a song for any emotion at least for me I'm like oh, I love Michael Jackson but mm-hmm. and that used to be on my bucket list is to see him in concert but rip rest in peace Michael Jackson um messed up again. <laughs> I'm so um, sorry. it's okay it was only my childhood dream <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. Um, no disrespect to Michael Jackson. Like, I am serious. He's one of my very favorite artists ever. Um, and I can remember exactly what I was eating for dinner the night I found out he died. Really? Yeah, I was having a pork chop with peas. That's, <laughs> so, that's so funny because I remember exactly what I was doing that day, too. What were you doing? I was swimming up at my Aunt Bond's house, and I was on my way back home with my stepdad and it came on the radio and I was like what Michael Jackson died the worst day in music history he had so much more anyways (laughs) before I go on a rant um (laughs) I miss him um okay fashion guys fashion um Vogue um okay bold colors Vogue Vogue um Bold colors, acid wash jeans. I don't know why I'm laughing. One piece jumpers were very popular oh, back in the day. Um, I don't know. The 80s fashion just makes me want to go be in the 80s. I'm sorry, that doesn't make any sense. But, like, it's just the, so fun. The fashion in the 80s was... I feel like that's coming back, too, honestly. Oh, my gosh. It 100% is. The, like, the rompers... Yes. And the bodysuits are coming back into style. Um, so, funny yeah. story with that. I don't know if this happened in the 80s or the 90s with my mom, but my mom was getting married to my dad. And um, she, I think it was her bachelorette party. My aunt told me this story. And she's probably going to get mad at me for telling him, but I don't care because I think it's funny. My aunt told me she had on these white overalls. <laughs> okay. And they went to Perkins for breakfast at like three in the morning. And my mom went to go take a sip of her hot coffee and spilled it all over her white overalls. Oh, and she was so drunk. Deb! <laughs> we stand, Deb. I love you, Deb. I miss you. That's iconic. <laughs> mom, you'll have to let me know if that was in the 80s or the 90s. Cause... Yes. And have you ever looked at, did your mom graduate in the 80s? My mom graduated, I don't remember, to be honest. I think she might have graduated in the late 70s. You might have to ask to see her, like, senior picture. Oh, yeah. I've I've seen her senior picture, I'm pretty sure. Isn't it crazy how different, like, my mom graduated in 88. Mm -hmm. And, like, I look at her senior picture, and I'm like, whoa, that is different from what our senior pictures look like. I'm trying to think. So, I think my mom's – your mom graduated in 88. I bet my mom graduated in 78, because I think our moms are, like, 10 years apart or something like that. Oh, that's awesome. So, your mom would have a senior picture from the 70s, and mine would have one from the 80s. That's cool. I think so. Our moms, Stacy and Deb – that was weird calling my mom Deb. Right. Um (laughs) – Post your senior pictures in the comments for our listeners to yes, look at. Please do it, Mom. I know you listen to this. Please do yeah, it. Mom. I know you listen to this, too. Oh, do it. Interact with us a little bit, guys. Um, <laughs> but it's just crazy. Like, the hair was feathered, and I feel like they used a lot of hairspray in the 80s. Yeah. And crimper, crimping your hair. Oh, was that the 90s? I feel like that was more 90s. 90s. Okay. Forget I said that, guys. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't know. What was that laugh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I just want Michael Jackson to come back. Um, <laughs> <laughs> guys, I'm sorry. Um, 
Nikki, did you say anything about the fashion yet? I don't think so. <laughs> so I have oversized sweaters Ooh. and bright rainbow colors. So like, I think of, um, oh my gosh, Stranger Things. Yes. Like everything they wore in Stranger Things is what it comes to my mind during the 80s. Yes, oh my gosh. Oh, and flood that. jeans, like the jeans that don't come down your feet, they like go to your ankles. Yes, I have those a couple were big. of those, but I didn't, I, mean for, I didn't mean for them to be floods. <laughs> I'm like, well, I bought them while well, I'm wearing them. At least I have mm-hmm. pants on. <laughs> At least I have pants on, you're right. I have pants. Um, yes, um, one of my favorite outfits from Stranger Things is um Eleven's romper that she wears that's black and has like the little let me bring it up on here the little let me see Eleven they have like the shapes on them like the bright colored shapes so funny thing you can actually buy that romper on hottopic.com because I've looked at it a couple times yes I love her and she freaking rocks that Millie Bobby Brown I know she's goals. I love her. She's. I cannot wait to see what she does and like how she's grown in this next season. I Thank am you. so excited. Um. But anyways, what is next on your list for the eighties? Um. So for the movies in the eighties, I have Blue Lagoon, which I remember watching this movie with my mom and thinking it was so good. But like, I watched it with Justin. And I watched it. Oh my gosh, it had to be years ago. I don't even remember. But it's still such a good movie. Like. If you guys don't know what it is, it's a movie about these two kids that get um, shipwrecked on an island. I don't remember if they're brother and sister. I don't think they are. But anyway, the captain ends up dying in the shipwreck. These two kids have to survive on this island by themselves. So they build this hut and they're like growing up and going through puberty together. And um, needless to say, they fall in love and she gets pregnant. And then they finally get rescued and they have this family and... I might be forgetting some stuff, but, like, I remember that movie very vividly. I think I have to watch that. Because it's just, in my mind, that makes, that's a making of a great book. I'm sure it probably is a book, actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Speaking of movies that turned, or books that turned into movies, The Outsiders also came out in the 80s. Rest in peace, Pony Boy. Oh, (laughs) But, like, that movie, so it's so good. I love The Outsiders. Oh, my gosh. I, that is such a good... It's a good book, too. Like, it's a yes. great book and a great movie. I remember watching it in high school. Yes. I, I watched yes. it in high school. It was great. Uh, I haven't watched The Outsiders in years. Like, honestly, the last time I watched it was probably in high school. Mm-hmm. But I really want to watch it. I really want to watch that movie. I love it. It's so good. If you haven't seen The Outsiders, guys, if you haven't seen The Outsiders and you haven't seen Grease, those are two movies that if you're into, like, the greaser versus squares, like, conflict of interest type movies, you're going to love both of those movies. They're great. Oh, I don't know. What do you think? Outsiders or Grease? Probably Grease, just because I love the musical aspect. But if I want a movie that's going to get me in my feels, definitely The Outsiders. I know. Because, like, so I remember reading The Outsiders in high school. And I, like, could, uh, what is the word? I could relate to Pony Boy. Like, I felt like I understood his character very well. So, like, whenever he died, I was, like, in tears. And every time I watch the movie, I just bawl my eyes out. <laughs> It's so sad. It's so sad. Because you don't want anybody to die, but Mm -hmm. it happens. I I remember in my yearbook, the English teacher that we read that with, and I think we had different English teachers. 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 (laughs) Um, But in my yearbook, he wrote, Stay Golden Pony Boy. Oh, (laughs) no. I'm dying to to know. I'm dying to know who, what year that was. I think that was our junior year. It wasn't ninth grade, because ninth grade was You've Got Mail, because we had the letters, remember? Yes, I do remember that. Do you remember who your pen pal was? We'll have to talk about that. It was Dane Bright. (laughs) I had a crush on him. Dane Bright, if you ever listen to this, or anybody we ever graduated with. That's funny, because I had one of Dane's friends, and Brody's friend. I had Tony. 
You had Tony? Tony was my pen pal. Brody, if you're listening to this, Nikki had your roommate as a pen pal on that. Oh, dang. I forgot they were roommates. Yeah. They're living yeah. together. They're like he was. Friends. He was my roommate for the You Got Mail thing. Or my oh. roommate. Oh, my gosh. My <laughs> pen pal. I love it. <laughs> um. I didn't know you had a roommate in ninth grade, <laughs> man. Um, <laughs> but yes, guys, great movies. The 80s. Also, honorable mention for movies, The Breakfast Club. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh, and then I do have another movie, um, Kiki's Delivery Service. That came out in the 80s? That came out in the 80s. Wow. I love that movie. I've never actually seen it. Oh, it's so good. So, like, guys, if you don't know that movie... It is about a little witch, and she travels to, like, learn all, like, I think she has to travel to, like, a different city or something to learn, like, all these witch things, basically. And she lives with this baker and is, like, starting her life in this little town, and it's it's such a cute movie. I really want to, I want to watch all the Studio Ghibli movies. Oh, they're so good. That's what Ryan says. So guys, check them out. Studio Ghibli, Kiki's Delivery Service. Yes. Check. And actually, Princess Mononoke is another Studio Ghibli, Ghibli, whatever it's called, uh, movie. But that was in the 70s. I was going to put that on here, but I didn't know if anybody would know it. I didn't realize that the Studio Ghibli. Is it Ghibli, Ghibli or Ghibli? Okay. Ghibli Studio G. I didn't know that they've been making movies that long. That is amazing. That mm-hmm. is really cool. For some reason, I was thinking it was like a two thousands thing. That shows how much I know about Studio Ghibli. What Ghibli. Studio Ghibli Ghibli movies? Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, for the big event in the eighties, the Nintendo Game Boy was released. No. Yes. Like the original, like the big one. Yeah, the original Game Boy. Wow. I know. Crazy. I love the Game Boy. I love all Nintendo systems. I'm a Nintendo. <laughs> that is the best thing I've heard all day. Um, <laughs> I'm going like, to use that from now on. Like and subscribe if you're also a Nintendo. Um, <laughs> that, I think that basically wraps up the 80s. One of my favorite decades. I know my mom loved the 80s. Um. So that's going to leave us to our last one, which I feel like this decade we can kind of relate to because we were here for this decade. We weren't really like adults or teenagers during this decade, but I feel like this is the one we can relate to the most. And that is 1990s. Yes. Jeez, great time to be alive. Um, for music, I put Backstreet Boys and Britney Spears. Iconic. Backstreet Boys and Britney Spears. Hi, Justin. No, come on, I Do you have anything to say about the 90s? Music was better. Well, come here. No, I'm in sweatpants. I'll talk from afar. Okay. I'm in pajama pants. <laughs> Cass is in pajama pants. I was born in the 90s. So were we. We were too. I know. You and Cass were actually born the same year. I was born in 94. Justin and Cass were both born in 95. Sure. Yeah, 95 rules. 94 is better. I got to spend more time in the 90s. True. You wow. Got me. So much more time. You got me there. <laughs> I think April. Goodbye, internet. Yeah, I wasn't even. I was a little speckle in my mom's stomach when you were born. <laughs> really? Well, okay, so I was born in September. So September, October, November, December, January. Wait, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. Wow. <laughs> that's, I'm eight months older than you. That means, like, your mom was literally one month pregnant with you whenever I was uh, born. Uh, I was a little size of a little Tic Tac or something. <laughs> I was just a tiny little zygote or whatever they're called. <laughs> Aww. Aww. And then so we became best friends. Up. Right? I know. Whew. Um. <laughs> Jeez. Um, okay, so let's see. Uh, music, what did you put for this? So, my favorite song from the... Well, I can't say my favorite. I have so many favorite 90s songs. Um, but the one I have on my Spotify that I listen to a lot is Wonderwall by Oasis. Such a good song. So good. That song's going to literally be stuck in my head for the rest of the night. Me too. I'm going to be singing it. It's, it's also one of those songs that's like a 
relax. Like, I feel like that's a chill. That's the song I want to listen to in the summertime with the windows down going for a drive at sunset. Mm -hmm. It's so good. It's a song I think of, like, whenever you want to sit around a fire and, like, there's this one dude that pulls out a guitar. Yeah. Like, Wonderwall (laughs) is that song that I feel like that guy should be playing. (laughs) Or, like, if you're at a subway and somebody's playing music for money. Um, yes. Wall 100% with an acoustic guitar. It's so good. It's so good. It gives um, me, like, honestly, um, driver's license gives me Wonderwall feels kind of. I can see that. Like, the very chill feeling. I, I they both give. Those kind of make me depressed. True. <laughs> <laughs> True. Um, love it. Love it. Yes. Wonderwall. Give it a listen if you haven't listened to it before. Um, why don't you go ahead and start us off with the fashion? Okay, so for fashion, I have jean jackets, mm. overalls, plaid skirts, and band tees. Which is, is crazy, good. because all of that stuff is coming back again. Like, I've been wearing band tees since, like, eighth grade. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. History really does repeat itself. Mm-hmm. 100%. Um, I put bootcut jeans. Two tops oh. and a plaid flannel. Uh, I forgot about tube tops. Mm-hmm. Now those uh, should stay in the 90s. <laughs> yes. Us girls with the big boobies up here can't wear tube tops. <laughs> Unfortunately, probably never can, but I mean, it's a cute, I don't know, it's a cute idea. It is a cute idea. And I feel like if you have tiny boobs that it's great for you because you don't have to worry about wearing a bra or anything like that it just looks good on you but great looks great you don't have to worry about spillage or anything (laughs) 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 guys i hope you're enjoying this podcast tonight we're being kind of silly um i love it though um what movies were in the 90s i'm dying to know (laughs) okay so (laughs) On my notes, I I put focus, focus, (laughs) but I meant to put hocus, pocus. Focus, focus. (laughs) Wow. Focus, focus. That's hilarious. So hocus, pocus came out in the 90s. I think it was 1993 it came out. Um, My favorite Halloween movie, hands down. Good. It's classic. Three Witches, Torment, Salem. It's just great. Dang, it's going to be 23 years, or it's going to be, <laughs> it's going to be 30 years old in a couple years. Yeah. Don't remind me. I feel old. I'm literally a year younger than that movie. I officially feel old. Yeah. Ah, so this is what it feels like. <laughs> I don't <sighs> Guys, I do not like it. Um, great, great movie. Um, the big event of this decade was something that we all utilize every day. Text messaging was released in the nineties. What do you know what year exactly? Uh ninety two. Let me look. While uh-huh. you're looking that up, I'll um tell you the other movies. So I had Matilda, which is such a good movie. I love Miss Honey. And the one song, Send Me On My Way, is, like, I play that over and over again on Spotify. Um, and Hook was very big in the 90s, too, with Robin Williams. As I loved Peter Pan growing up, and that movie just... And I love Robin Williams anyway. Oh, we lost an uh, an iconic comedian when he died. Oh, my gosh. He did so many... Like, I honestly don't think there's a movie that he did that I don't like. They're all so good. Yeah. So good. Oh, uh, 1992. Wow. Third, 1992. That's crazy. Yep. Uh, it says SMS messaging was used for the first time on December 3rd, 1992, when Neil Papworth, a 22-year-old test engineer for SEMA Group in UK, used a personal computer to send the text message Merry Christmas via the Vodafone network to the phone of Richard Jarvis, who was at a party in Newbury. Wow. Okay, somebody's speeding up my road. Oh my gosh, dang. Sounds like a motorcycle. Someone's cool. Um, <laughs> that is 
crazy. Um, I actually remember a time in my life where I didn't know what text messaging was. Yeah. And now it's scary because now I feel like there's never going to be a time in any of these kids' lives that they can remember where they don't, like, I feel like they're just going to always know what text messaging is. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I feel like we were the very last, like, group of babies that got to go through childhood and stuff without phones. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, Do you remember getting your first cell phone? I do. I do. What, how old were you? Do you remember? 12 or 13. Mm -hmm. I think. What what phone did you have? I had a razor. I had a, I had a silver razor phone. I remember your silver razor phone. I had a silver razor. I miss that phone. Yeah. I I honestly still think I have the pink razor somewhere. Oh, I, I, I have the pink razor. I'm pretty sure I have it somewhere. For here. some reason, every time I hear about the pink razor phone, I think about when I was in middle school because the bus would pick up the middle school kids and then go up to the high school, pick up the high school kids. I remember this girl in high school had a, a, pink, a pink razor phone and she had it up to her head and she was talking about it. I was like I really like your phone and she's like thanks and I was like a high schooler talking <laughs> but <laughs> I remember looking at that phone and being and I don't know why I remember that but I remember her having that phone and mm. it's it, it feels like it was forever ago but those phones were like the thing they really were I personally never had a razor when it was cool to have a razor <laughs> I had like some cheap phone that I don't even remember what brand it was um, all I know is it was black on the sides and silver in the middle. I think um, I know what you're talking about. I could put my mind. Yeah, but like I don't remember what the brand was or anything. And um, I remember our friend Melissa had this blue cell phone that if you push the camera button, you could see yourself on the fr- little, the tiny front screen. And I thought it was the coolest cell phone ever. Oh my gosh, isn't that crazy? And now we have, like, these. Oh, it blows my mind. Oh, my gosh. Do you remember the little, um, what the heck was the name of the phone? That was, like, tiny like this. <gasps> the and Juke. Then, the Juke, yes. The Juke. I used to take my Juke and throw it at my computer chair and watch it bounce back and, like, spring out. <laughs> which was a terrible idea. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> but that's what I would do. I love it. I love it. Um, is there anything else about the 90s? Oh, um, you said the movies, right? Yes. And then I said about text messaging. Um, I just want to make sure we got everything yeah. out there before we kept uh, talking about cell phones and stuff. Uh, but it's just crazy how technology has evolved since then. Because now I feel like everything we could need. Like, for instance, all night I've been reading all my entire list on my phone. Isn't that crazy? Like, I, yeah, like, I have all, our vlogs that we do on our channel, I record most of them on my cell phone. Yep, me too. It's like, we have everything. And I will never forget, in math class, back in the day, they said, you're not always going to have a calculator on you. So learn how to do math by your head. And I'm just like. You know why they tell you this? And I can, I can tell you why they tell you this. It's because if you know your facts, It makes math so much easier. So if you can memorize, like, your addition, subtraction, multiplication, division facts, when you get into, like, algebra and calculus and all that stuff, it makes your life so much easier. Oh, I wish I would have paid a little bit more attention to math class, if I'm being honest. All I cared about was boys, but... Same. And I have a feeling my daughter, if I ever have one, is going to be the same way. I hope we both have girls, (laughs) and they're, like, best friends. I hope so. And then, like... They're they can gonna... talk about. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, I was just gonna say they're not gonna have a choice. Like they're gonna have to be best friends. Like we're Basically. gonna be like, listen, you're gonna be best friends, or there's gonna be serious consequences. <laughs> you're gonna be around each other enough. You might as well just be best <laughs> friends. <laughs> but what were you gonna say? I was gonna say I was. I can just picture like our kids, like texting each other about um, boys and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Like even if you guys still live in Kentucky and we're here in Pennsylvania, like. When we go to see each other, I can literally just see them, like, I don't know, it's just so cute to think about. I know, I know. Now I'm like, okay, now we have to plan on having a kid around the same time. (laughs) What if, what if, like, 
I have a boy and you have a girl and they fall in love and get married, then we'll be like mom in laws together. Yeah, we will be like, <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, that would be like, the, they'd have like the greatest like in laws. Basically. Like, they wouldn't have monster in laws. Yeah. Which I don't have a monster in law <laughs> at all. No, your in laws are amazing. I I have good in laws too. <laughs> I'm not yeah. saying I don't. <laughs> I know some people, actually, I know some people that if I would have married into their family, I would have had a monster-in-law, but. Me too. I feel like we are both very grateful for having in-laws that pretty much welcomed us into the family, but. Yeah. Oh, man. Guys, let us know in the comments below what the heck you thought of this episode. Did you like it? Did you, please don't say you didn't like it, but if you didn't like it, (laughs) let us know. Um, I am still starving. Girl, you need to go eat something with some substance to it. I know. I had some chicken with some rice earlier. It was pretty good, but I just, I'm not getting full. So maybe I'll have some chickpeas. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Eat some more cheese. Ooh, yeah. That cheese was looking fire. (laughs) It did look fire. (laughs) Um, But I guess let's go ahead. Rant of the day. Rant of the day. Okay. Okay. So my rant of the day is that I gotta think. I have one if you want me to go first. Yes, please okay. go first. My rant of the day is okay, so I went to this really nice grocery store on Friday to get some stuff for my new diet because I can't have a lot of sugar and I can't have flour. Um I bought a jar of vegan mayonnaise that was seven ninety nine. It was seven ninety nine for a regular size jar of mayonnaise. Now I might be wrong, but I feel like regular Hellman's I'm gonna look up the price right now. I feel like price. it's like $3. Helmet, right? Price of Hellman's Mayo. Okay. $3.99. Yeah. So, so I understand that this is different than regular mayonnaise, but like no wonder people can't afford to eat healthy. And no wonder people that people are so skinny because when they eat healthy, because you're not going to want to overeat expensive food because you're just going to keep spending more money. Like, Mm-hmm. That's how I'm feeling. Like I'm not eating, like I'm eating a good amount, but I'm not overeating because I don't want to spend seven ninety. Well, I spent one hundred and six dollars at the store on Friday, mm-hmm. and I didn't even get that much. Like I really did not get that much. I got enough for some meals, but when you think of one hundred and six dollars at the grocery store for one person to eat, you think of like a huge cart full of stuff. I just had like a mini cart full of stuff. Wow, it's crazy. So when people say, "Oh," It being too expensive is a myth. That's not true. You can eat healthy and save money. That's false because I definitely just lived that last weekend. That is my rant of the day. Yeah, I 100% agree. And I feel like, so like, I feel like you can eat healthy if and spend a little bit of money. But that's if you like, like, just salads and just fruits and just, and even salads, fruits and vegetables are still expensive. Mm-hmm. But like, to get like the vegan mayo, like, if you want a turkey mayo sandwich, like, oh, you can't really have a sandwich. But, like, on, say you get, like, bread. gluten-free. I have, yeah, gluten-free bread, which is expensive. So, like, say you get gluten-free bread, the turkey, the mayo. So, if you want to get, like, good turkey, gluten-free bread, which is probably pretty expensive. Yeah. Um, Good turkey is probably about five bucks a pound. Maybe more. And then you have your gluten-free mayo. Or vegan free me- vegan mayo, <laughs> and that's like seven dollars. That yeah. is like a twelve dollar sandwich. Uh, it's insane. It's crazy. And the and gluten free bread is not good. Ew. So I, I just hate when people say you can't use it being expensive as an excuse to eat healthy because guess what? It's very expensive. Try it out yourself. <laughs> but that is my rant of the day. Yeah, I hundred percent agree with you. Okay, I have my rant. Okay. When people don't use their freaking turn signals. Oh, I felt that one so hard. Ugh. It's not hard to push up on your little lever thing to tell you when you're going to turn. Like, pull the lever, crunk. Jeez. <laughs> the whole lever. It's the head beams and you get blinded. <laughs> yes. Oh, my gosh. Like, oh. I cannot stand someone that doesn't use a turn signal. It literally takes zero to no effort. And so, like, I was behind this guy coming home from work the other day, and literally he was going so slow. And I'm like, what are you doing, my dude? And then literally the last second he pops his turn signal, and I was like, 
what was the point of that? Why, like, why didn't you just have it on? Oh my goodness, it makes me so angry. And oh. then like you have people that don't turn it on, and then just like turn, and then you're like, well, what the heck? Like I almost good just ran I'm into down. you. Yeah, good thing I slowed down. I just can't. People in general just make me angry. They make me very angry. Oh man, but yes, that is my rant of the day. And don't be a dumb driver. Just use your turn yeah. signal. Don't. Use your lights. Yeah. Use all that stuff you're supposed to use. Your windshield wipers, your high beam. Turn your high beams off when you're coming towards someone. Yes. Turn your windshield wipers off when you don't need them because you're going to ruin them. <laughs> that is one of my biggest pet peeves with Justin when he's driving is he'll just leave his windshield wipers on and they'll just go and go and go and go and there's nothing on his windshield. And I'm like, turn them off. It's like, just turn the dang things off, honey. You don't need them on. <laughs> Makes me so annoyed. Joy just hopped up on the recliner for some oh, snuggles. Our favorite mascot. Here, I'll turn the laptop so you guys can see her. Aww. Say hi. Look up here. Oh, Good oh, girl. Oh. She's so cute. Do you love her? But, guys, I guess with our rants being done and everything, I say this podcast was a good one. I think it was a. I think we had a lot of fun and a lot of laughs tonight, and I mm-hmm. hope you guys enjoyed it and got a couple laughs out of it too. Because sometimes you just need a podcast that is just gonna make you laugh and you can be silly. So I'm glad that we were able to kind of inform you guys on some stuff if you didn't know about it before, and just kind of have a good time. I hope you guys have a good rest of the week. I hope you stay safe out there, uh, and I hope spring is on its way soon. Me too, girl. We had, like I said, we had a nice storm today, and I'm just ready for the sun to be out and the birds to be chirping and flowers to be blooming and all that stuff. But like Cass said, I'm so glad we could be here for you guys. Um, check us out on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. We're on any podcast platform you're looking for. Um, subscribe to us on YouTube. We post vlogs. We post our podcasts. We post all of that stuff. Um, If you enjoy our podcast and you want to see our beautiful faces and things that we are showing you, hop onto our YouTube. Make sure you subscribe so you get our notifications. And with that being said, I'm Nikki. And I'm Cass. And you know what you're listening to. Two Two eyes, one world. world. Talk to you guys next time. See ya. See ya.